welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jasmine and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be continuing my series on my channel and I'm going to be going over basic five and figure skating with you guys. The skills that you have to have mastered to pass basic five are forward outside edges on a circle right and left, backward inside edges on a circle right and left, backward crossovers, clockwise and counterclockwise, forward outside three turn, right and left, advanced two foot spin, four to six revolutions, hockey stop, both directions. And if you want to go the extra mile to make sure that you 100% pass basic five and figure skating, you can do the bonus skill, which is a side toe hop on both right and left. I know that all these terms might sound confusing at first, but don't worry because that's why I'm here. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do each of these moves step by step, and by the end of this video, you should be able to pass basic five. So, without further ado, let's get started. To do a backward outside edge on a circle, you're going to start by taking a couple of pushes or pumps backwards on a circle, either the big circles or the curling circles. Then you're going to pick the leg that you're going to be gliding on, and that leg is going to be gliding on the outside of the circle on an outside edge following the outline of the circle. Then you're going to pick up the other leg that is on, not on the ice, which also means that it's the leg that is out farther away from the outside of the circle and you're not standing on. And you're going to glide around the circle like this. You want to make sure to keep your back up straight and your arms nice out to the side so that you can keep your balance and that you don't fall over. And you also want to make sure to repeat this on both legs as well. To do a backward inside edge on a circle, you're going to find yourself a circle either on the bigger circle or on one of the smaller curling circles. Then you're going to decide which leg you're going to be gliding. What you're going to do is you're going to take a couple of pushes or steps backwards until you have enough speed that you feel like you can glide around the circle. Then you're going to go pick a leg that you're going to be gliding on, but you want to make sure to glide on an inside edge with it so that you're tracing the outline of the circle. The leg that you should be gliding on depends on the direction you are going. So if you're going right, then you have to be gliding with the leg that is farther away from the circle. So what you have to do is you have to lift up the leg that is closer to the circle so that you can trace the outline of the circle and make a inside edge. You want to make sure to keep your posture nice and straight and your arms out to the side so that you can keep your balance. And you also want to do this on both legs.
To do backward crossovers on a circle, you're going to find yourself a circle, either one of the big ones or the smaller curling circles. For backward crossovers, I recommend using one of the bigger circles so that you have more room to do your crossovers on. You're going to take a couple of pushes or pumps backwards so that you have enough speed to start your crossovers. What you're going to do is you're going to take the leg that is farther or the outside of the other leg. You're going to take that and cross it over the inside leg. Then when you have your inside leg crossed over, you're going to lift it up in the back and untuck it and bring it back to where it started. Then you're going to repeat this motion a couple more times until you have as many crossovers as you can do, or maybe until you lose speed. But if you repeat this motion and if you start pushing, then you will get more speed while doing it. You also want to repeat this on both legs, and you want to keep your posture nice and straight and your arms out to the side. When you're doing crossovers, you want to lean you want to twist your body to the inside of the circle. And if you can, you want to turn your head to look behind you so that you don't run into anybody or anything. To do a forward three turn, you want to find yourself a line because you have to make a half circle to do your three turn on. If you can't make a half circle, you can either have your coach draw a half circle on the ice for you to follow, or if you don't have a coach, each side of the rink has half circles to that where they usually place the hockey nets on, and you can follow the pattern of that because sometimes figure skaters use that because it's perfect size for doing three turns on. So what you're going to do to do a 4-3 turn on an outside edge, you're going to take a couple of steps forward or pushes, and you're going to glide on the outside edge of one leg that you choose. And then you're going to twist your body into this circle, and then you're going to turn your leg into this circle so that you're kind of making a 3. When you come out of the 3 turn, you should be gliding on an inside edge so that when you finish, it should look like you made a 3 with your turn. That's why it's called a three turn. You want to make sure to keep your posture nice and straight and your arms out to the side so that you don't fall over and that you keep your balance. To do an advanced two foot spin, you're going to start by doing a couple of backward crossovers or backward pushes. Then you're going to step forward with the leg that you're going to lead yourself into the spin with. With the other leg, you're going to glide that behind you on the ice and you're going to grab enough momentum to bring it in and you're going to get as tight as you possibly can so that you can rotate nice and fast. You want to keep your legs together and your arms in tight and your posture nice and straight so that you can keep your balance and that you don't fall over. And you want to do at least four to six revolutions. And after you finish spinning, you want to push out. To 
do a hockey stop, you're going to take a couple of steps forward or pushes until you have enough speed so that you're just gliding across the ice in a two-foot glide. Then you're going to turn your feet to the side and put pressure on your legs so that you kind of stop and make snow. So after you do this, you should come to a complete stop. Hockey stops are usually nice and sharp and that they go really fast and that they stop really suddenly. You might not be able to go fast and stop as suddenly because it's hard to do it when you first start. It's even hard for me to do it right now. But if you keep on working on it, eventually it'll become better and you'll be able to do it. You want to make sure to keep your posture nice and straight and your arms out to the side so that you can keep your balance and that you don't fall over. To do a side toe hop, you're going to start with your legs standing together, just standing on the ice doing nothing. Then you're going to take one of your legs out to the side, you're going to place your toe into the ice, and you're going to jump up as high as you can. You're going to bring your other leg into that leg in the air, and then you're going to come down and bring the leg that you first put into the ice back out again. So then you make like this stopping position and that it's easier to stop the motion from coming. You want to make sure to keep your back up straight and your arms out nice to the side while you're doing this so that you can keep your balance and that you don't fall over when you come down. This is the end of the video and I hope that you guys enjoyed and that it was helpful and it might have taught you guys how to do basic five and figure skating. I want you guys to comment down below, are you guys working on basic five or have you already passed basic five? Also if you guys want to go check out my last four videos in this series, I'll have those linked down below on basic one, basic two, basic three, and basic four. Anyways, also don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I love you guys. Bye!